Hello everyone, welcome back. And today we are going to study the anatomy of pronator quadratus muscle. So the pronator quadratus is this quadrangular flat muscle of the anterior compartment of forearm. And it is one of the three deep muscles of the anterior compartment of forearm. The other two deep muscles of this compartment are the flexor pollicis longus and the flexor digitorum profundus. And then these three muscles of this group lie deep to this intermediate muscle of the anterior forearm, which is the flexor digitorum superficialis muscle. So if we study the origin and insertion of this muscle, so you can see that the pronator quadratus muscle originates from the anterior aspect of the distal end of the ulna. And after origin, the fibers of this muscle travel a bit inferolaterally to insert onto the anterior aspect of the distal end of the radius. So if we study the actions performed by this muscle, so the name of this muscle makes a sense that this muscle is a pronator and it pronates the forearm at the radio ulnar joint. In terms of its innervation, the pronator quadratus muscle has got its nerve supply from the median nerve. So you can see that the median nerve innervates this muscle through this branch called the anterior interosseous nerve of forearm. And about the origin of the median nerve, so this nerve has got its origin from both the medial and lateral cords of the brachial plexus. And the median nerve has got its nerve fibers from 7th and 8th cervical spinal nerve roots. But some anatomy studies also suggest that the first thoracic spinal nerve root also contributes some of its nerve fibers to median nerve. And now if we study the arterial supply of the pronator quadratus muscle, so this muscle has got its arterial supply from the anterior interosseous artery. The anterior interosseous artery is a branch of the common interosseous artery. And the common interosseous artery arises from the ulnar artery. And then the ulnar artery together with the radial artery arise as medial and lateral divisions of the brachial artery respectively. So now let's quickly revise all these study points for the pronator quadratus muscle. So this muscle originates from the anterior aspect of the distal end of the ulna and it inserts onto the anterior aspect of the distal end of the radius bone. This muscle receives its nerve supply from the median nerve and it has got its arterial supply from the anterior interosseous artery. And this muscle performs a single important function, which is the pronation of forearm at the radio ulnar joints. So this was a tutorial on the pronator quadratus muscle. Hope this is helpful. Thank you so much.